faith that it will. Stein Tormans from Belgium. The cover, it's very special of the album. Has it a deeper meaning, the cover? Because I see the cigarette and so. <laughs> yeah, I thought you quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> some, some guys you just can't trust. <laughs> I got, a, I got a question also about the cover. The, um, the Hummingbird came back. The Hummingbird was on recent songs, and it's on the future, and the Hummingbird's on the back of this one. Always love those little creatures. Always feel blessed when they uh, appear nearby. There's a magical quality to them. I, I, I finally put one in a song. I, I'd written a lot of songs with hummingbirds in them. Sharon, do you remember one called Hummingbird Hill? None of them ever came to anything. But I, I did write a few last month that went like this. Uh, listen to the hummingbird whose wings you cannot see. Listen to the hummingbird. Don't listen to me. Listen to the butterfly whose days but number three. Listen to the butterfly. Don't listen to me. Listen to the mind of God, which doesn't need to be. Listen to the mind of God. Don't listen to me. So I, I would say the, the hummingbird deserves the royalties on that one. <laughs> Is that going to turn up on the next album? God willing. <laughs> uh, Vanessa Guimont from Quebec. I spoke with uh, Patrick Leonard a little bit earlier, and he told me that the last song on the record might be like a preview or of what could be next. Because when you released your last record, you, you said that you already had some songs for the next ones. And I was wondering, is that the case? Can we expect a, another more orchestral album? Well, I, I, I would like to work with uh, Pat in, in any capacity. I would love to hear his versions. He is such a magnificent composer. I don't think there's anybody working today with those kind of skills that could translate one of my tunes into that really beautiful chamber music. So yes, I, I hope we can come up with something orchestral uh, with some uh, spoken material and I also, God willing, hope that perhaps um, another record of songs also might emerge, but one never knows. Paul Zolo, American songwriter. Paul did Hi, one, one of the best interviews I've ever done yes. many years ago. I really appreciate that, Paul. I don't know if I've let you know that. Thank you. You just did. I mean, that's a great <laughs> honor. Thank you. Later. It's true. And it turns up in a book, Cohen on Cohen. Which, uh, or at least part of it does, right? That's right. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful interview. Well, Leonard, you, you made your famous joke. If I knew where the great songs came from, I'd go there more often. You've been doing this for a long time now, writing songs. You probably have more wisdom than a lot of us. Any more idea where those good songs came from? And do you have to spend mm -hmm. a lot? Like many of your songs took years, as we famously know. Did that happen on this album as well? Yeah, the fact that my songs take a long time to write is no guarantee of their excellence. It's just, it's just the way it is. It just takes a long time for me. Um, I'm very slow. I'm happy, you know, it comes kind of by dribbles and drops. Some people are graced with uh, flow. Uh, some people are graced with uh, something less than a flow. I'm, I'm one of those. Ayala Orel from Israel. I have so many questions to ask you, but because I have only one question, I'm going to ask you about your performance in Israel. You've performed several times in Israel. Uh, was it especially moving for you as a Jewish man to perform in Israel? Well, there's a, a deep tribal aspect to my own nature. So uh, when I'm in contact with those uh, deep resources, uh, of course, I feel a, a very special kind of nourishment. It is different uh, because it uh, arises from very deep wells of affiliation. Pablo Jimenez de Sandoval from Spain, from El Pais. Good evening. 
Good evening. Uh, well, there are several uh, religious references in the in the record, which is not uncommon. I wanted to ask you, what's the importance of religion in your life at this stage of your life? Has it increased, decreased? Is it different? Uh, I've never thought of myself as a, uh, a religious person. I don't have any uh, spiritual strategy. I kind of uh, limp along like uh, so many of us do in these uh, realms. Occasionally, I've felt the grace of uh, another presence in my life, uh, but I can't build a, uh, uh, any kind of spiritual structure on that. So I always, I feel that this is a vocabulary that I grew up with. This biblical landscape is uh, very familiar to me, and uh, it's natural that I use those landmarks as references. Once they were universal references, and everybody understood and knew them and locate them, that's no longer the case today, but it is still my landscape. I try to make uh, those references. I try to make sure that they're not too obscure. Uh, but outside of that, I can't, I dare not claim anything in the spiritual realm for my own. Uh, Ms. Hakemi Nakamura from Japan. Hi. Hello. Thank you very much for such a powerful, moving album. One of the most moving lyrics is when you sing, I'm ready, my Lord. Can you describe the moment where you came up with the lyrics and melody or inspiration? I don't really know the genesis, the origin. That um, hineni, that... Uh, declaration of readiness no matter what the outcome that's a, a part of everyone's soul we all are motivated by deep impulses and deep appetites to serve even though we may not be able to locate that which we are willing to serve uh, so this is just a part of my nature and i think everybody else's nature to offer oneself at the critical moment when uh, the emergency uh, becomes articulate. It's only when the emergency becomes articulate that we can locate that willingness to serve. Um, I'm, I'm being told That's that getting too heavy, I'm sorry. <laughs> How do I follow For, that up? Uh, <laughs> strike that or... <laughs> Leonard, we want to thank you for being here, and uh, we love you. <laughs> thanks so much, friends. Uh, we, have to, we have to wrap it up. Is there anything you want to say in closing? Uh, just thanks for coming, friends, and uh, I really appreciate it. And I, I really appreciate your standing up when I came into the room. I hope we can do this again. I intend to uh, stick around till 120. 